Hello and welcome. In this video, I will teach you how to derive some formulas of the rules of quadratic equation. That is how to come up with formulas if you are given any of these rules of quadratic equations. So we will derive all 10 formulas. Now let's start with the first one. If we recall from our previous video that the sum of roots of our quadratic equation is alpha plus beta. While the product of root of quadratic equation is alpha beta. So whatever formula we we'll derive will be in terms of alpha plus beta. That is the sum of root and alpha beta being the product of root. So let's set sum of root and product of root aside and express alpha square plus beta square in terms of alpha plus beta. Expressing alpha square plus beta square in terms of we have alpha plus beta all square. Now let's expand this. The expansion gives us alpha plus beta multiplied by alpha plus beta, which is equal to alpha times alpha, alpha multiplied by beta, beta multiplied by alpha, plus beta multiplied by beta. So we have alpha square plus beta square plus alpha beta plus alpha beta gives two alpha beta. Here we could see that we now have alpha square plus beta square. So let's make alpha square plus beta square the subject of formula by taking positive 2 alpha beta to the left hand side. Taking positive 2 alpha beta to the left hand side gave negative 2 alpha beta and then alpha square plus beta square. Therefore alpha square plus beta square is equal to alpha plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta. So we've been able to derive a formula we could use to answer any question involving quadratic equation which asks us to find alpha square plus beta square. And remember what we said that we'll derive this formula in terms of alpha plus beta and alpha beta. So here we have alpha plus beta being the sum of root square minus 2 alpha beta that is the product of root. Here we take the LCM of the denominators and the LCM of alpha and beta is alpha multiplied by beta. Beta into beta we are left with alpha, alpha times alpha, alpha square plus alpha into alpha we are left with beta, beta times beta, beta square equal to at the numerator we have alpha square plus beta square. Remember we already derived the formula for alpha square plus beta square which is this. So we replace alpha square plus beta square with this formula we derive the number 1 and then over alpha multiplied by beta gives alpha beta. So we've been able to derive a formula for alpha over beta plus beta over alpha which gave alpha plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta over alpha beta. This means that we've been able to express this in terms of sum of root being alpha plus beta and the product of roots that is alpha beta. Now let's derive a formula for 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta. We we'll start by taking the LCM of the denominator that is alpha multiplied by beta. Alpha into alpha we are left with beta, beta times 1 plus beta into beta we are left with alpha, alpha times 1 gives alpha. So we have alpha plus beta over Alpha times beta gives alpha beta. So we've been able to derive a formula for 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta. That is expressing it in terms of sum of root being alpha plus beta and the product of root being alpha beta. Now let's derive formula for alpha minus beta. Let's get the square of difference and expand it. This is the square of difference that is alpha minus beta all square. Expanding alpha minus beta square simply means alpha minus beta multiplied by alpha minus beta and this is equal to alpha multiplied by alpha alpha square minus alpha multiplied by beta and then minus beta multiplied by alpha minus times minus gives plus beta multiplied by beta beta square so the square of difference being this is equal to alpha square plus beta square minus alpha beta minus alpha beta gives minus 2 alpha beta. So here we have alpha square plus beta square. We already have a formula for alpha square plus beta square which gave us this formula. In place of alpha square plus beta square we'll write this formula and then minus 2 alpha beta. 
so we have alpha plus beta all squared minus 2 alpha beta minus 2 alpha beta gives minus 4 alpha beta taking the square root of both sides on the left hand side the square root here will eliminate the square so here we'll be left with alpha minus beta equal the square root of all these so therefore the formula for alpha minus beta is equal to the square root of alpha plus beta square minus 4 alpha beta so we've been able to express alpha minus beta in terms of alpha plus beta that is the sum of roots and alpha beta that is the product of roots before we proceed to answering number five question if you are getting value from this video and yet to subscribe to my channel please kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell thank you now we'll start by taking the lcm of the denominator the lcm is alpha minus one multiplied by beta minus one alpha minus one into alpha minus one we are left with beta minus one and beta minus one times one gives beta minus one plus beta minus one into beta minus one we are left with alpha minus one alpha minus one times one so we have alpha plus beta minus one minus one gives minus two over now we expand the denominator alpha multiplied by beta then minus alpha times one then minus one times beta minus one multiplied by minus one gives positive one now let's factor add negative from the denominator so we have alpha plus beta minus two divide by alpha beta we have minus alpha here minus beta here so we we'll factor out the negative or the minus and then we have alpha plus beta in our bracket plus one so the formula for one over alpha minus one plus one over beta minus one is alpha plus beta that is the sum of roots minus two over alpha beta being the product of roots minus alpha plus beta sum of root plus one now let's derive our formula for alpha cube plus beta cube the cube of sum that is alpha plus beta cube is equal to alpha plus beta multiplied by alpha plus beta also multiplied by alpha plus beta alpha multiplied by alpha alpha square alpha multiplied by beta beta multiplied by alpha beta multiplied by beta and then multiply by alpha plus beta the cube of sum is alpha square plus beta square alpha beta plus alpha beta and then multiply by alpha plus beta alpha square times alpha alpha square times beta beta square times alpha beta square times beta 2 alpha beta times alpha 2 alpha beta times beta we have alpha cube plus beta cube alpha square beta plus 2 alpha square beta gives 3 alpha square beta plus alpha beta square plus 2 alpha beta square gives 3 alpha beta square so alpha cube plus beta cube the common factor between these two is 3 alpha beta by the time we remove 3 alpha beta here so alpha will be left here plus when we remove 3 alpha beta from here we are left with beta so the cube of sum is equal to alpha cube plus beta cube plus three alpha beta then in bracket we have alpha plus beta now let's make alpha cube plus beta cube the subject of formula by moving positive three alpha beta in bracket alpha beta to the left hand side by the time we do that our positive changes to negative and then we are left with alpha cube plus beta cube on the right hand side so therefore the formula for alpha cube plus beta cube is alpha plus beta cube that is the sum of root cube minus three alpha beta that is the product of root and then multiply by alpha plus beta that is the sum of roots now let's derive a formula for alpha cube minus beta cube let's get the cube of difference that is alpha minus beta cube and then expand it alpha minus beta cube means alpha minus beta multiplied by alpha minus beta and also multiplied by alpha minus beta so let's multiply these two brackets first alpha times alpha minus alpha times beta minus beta times alpha minus times minus beta times beta and then multiply by alpha minus beta so we have alpha square plus beta square 
minus alpha beta minus alpha beta gives minus 2 alpha beta and then multiply by alpha minus beta. We already derived the formula for alpha square plus beta square in number 1, which is this. So in place of alpha square plus beta square, we'll write this formula. And then minus 2 alpha beta times alpha minus beta. In number 4, we already derived the formula for alpha minus beta. So we we'll replace alpha minus beta with the formula. Right? Which is equal to alpha plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta minus 2 alpha beta gives minus 4 alpha beta. And then multiply by the square root of alpha plus beta square minus 4 alpha beta. So therefore the formula for alpha cube minus beta cube is this. Now let's derive a formula for 1 over alpha square plus 1 over beta square. The SM of alpha square and beta square is alpha square multiplied by beta square. Alpha square into alpha square. We are left with beta square. Beta square times 1. Beta square into beta square. We are left with alpha square. Alpha square times 1. So we have alpha square plus beta square divided by alpha square times beta square gives alpha square beta square. In place of alpha square plus beta square, which we already derived the formula in question 1. So in place of this, we will write the formula over alpha square beta square. So the formula for 1 over alpha square plus 1 over beta square is equal to alpha plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta over alpha beta square. Now let's derive a formula for 1 over alpha square minus 1 over beta square. The LCM of alpha square and beta square is alpha square into alpha square. We are left with beta square. Beta square times 1 minus beta square into beta square. We are left with alpha square. Alpha square times 1. So we have minus alpha square plus beta square over alpha beta square. Now let's try to add the negative. So we now have minus, in brackets we have alpha square minus beta square because minus times minus gives plus. Now let's derive a formula for alpha square minus beta square. This is difference of two squares, which means alpha minus beta multiplied by alpha plus beta. We already have a formula for alpha minus beta which is dx. In place of alpha minus beta, we'll write this formula and then multiply by alpha plus beta. Now we now have a formula for alpha square minus beta square. So in place of alpha square minus beta square here, we'll substitute this formula. So 1 over alpha square minus 1 over beta square is equal to minus alpha square minus beta square will be replaced with this formula and then divide by alpha beta square. So we've been able to express 1 over alpha square minus 1 over beta square in terms of alpha plus beta that is the sum of roots and alpha beta that is product of roots. Now let's derive a formula for number 10. The LCM of the denominator is alpha square minus 1 multiplied by beta square minus 1. Alpha square minus 1 into alpha square minus 1. We are left with beta square minus 1 beta square minus 1 times 1 plus beta square minus 1 into beta square minus 1 we are left with alpha square minus 1 alpha square minus 1 times 1 so we have alpha square plus beta square minus 1 minus 1 we have minus 2 alpha square times beta square and then minus alpha square times 1 minus 1 times beta square minus times minus 1 times 1. On the numerator, we could see alpha square plus beta square. Remember in number 1, we have a formula for alpha square plus beta square. So we replace alpha square plus beta square with the formula we derived in question 1, which is x, and then minus 2 over alpha beta square. Here we need to factor out the negative. So we have minus alpha square and then plus beta square plus 1. So we have alpha plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta minus 2 over alpha beta square minus, remember the formula we derived in number 1 for alpha square plus beta square. That is dx. So we substitute dx in place of alpha square plus beta square and then plus 1. Now let's remove the square bracket from the denominator. So we have alpha plus beta square minus 2 alpha beta minus 2 
divide by alpha beta square minus times alpha plus beta square gives minus alpha beta square minus times minus plus 2 alpha beta and then plus 1. Therefore, the formula for 1 over alpha square minus 1 plus 1 over beta square minus 1 is alpha plus beta square, that is the sum of root square, minus 2 alpha beta, that is the product of roots minus 2, and then alpha beta square minus alpha plus beta square plus 2 alpha beta plus 1. If you really got value, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any question on topics you would want us to cover in future video, please do where to drop that in the comment section. And if you are yet to subscribe to my channel, please kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Thanks so much for watching. See you in our next video. Bye.